I am leaving Christchurch and driving towards Dunedin and the destinations for the day are Naga Point, Moraki Borders and Avaltros Watching. Although I have been to New Zealand before traveling along the west coast of the South Island, this time I'm traveling the east coast of South Island. The vegetation, climate and landscapes are all unique on its own. Naga Point is one of the most iconic landforms on the Otaku coast. Otaku is a region in South Island just to mention. Otago region is unique in its landscape with snow-capped mountains, alpine, glaciers, lakes. A region full of its own unique wildlife like penguins, seabirds, seals, etc. A unique landmark in Naga Point is its unique lighthouse with spatial formation of many many rocks with shapes all along the coast. Again, Naga Point is home to blue penguins colony, yellow-eyed penguins, various seabirds like gannets and seals. It's so beautiful here According to Wikipedia, the Moraki borders are originally started forming in ancient seafloor sediments around uh, 60 million years ago, and the largest borders are estimated to have taken about 4 million years to get to the current size. Moraki borders are so many here along the Moraki borders beach. I am going to introduce to you a giant species of birds called albatross. Far away, albatross look like seagull, but from my tour guide explanation, albatross have their unique style when they fly in the sky. It is not very hard to tell if you look carefully at their wings. The wings of the albatross are long and flap uh, elegantly and flamboyantly. In another word, they fly with style and with rhythm, at least it seems to me. According to Wikipedia, albatross are very large seabirds in the family Dicomitete. They range widely in the Southern Ocean and the North Pacific. They are absent from the North Atlantic, although fossil remains show they once occurred there and occasionally vagrants are found. I hope you enjoy my uh, video that I'm bringing you today. Have a good day and enjoy watching.